Hey guys, what's up? This is King Elfie, and today we're going to be going over how to set up Replay Mod for the Lunar Client. That's right, the Replay Mod is now compatible with 1.8.9 on the Lunar Client, so all of you Hypixel gamers are going to be super excited. And after we set it up, I'm going to go over a basic tutorial to show you guys how to use it and how to get started. So, let's jump into the tutorial. Also, a quick PSA, the Replay Mod is only available for 1.8.9 on the... Lunar Client as of this moment, but compatibility may be released for other versions as time goes on. Alright, let's get into this tutorial. So first things first, you're going to have to go to LunarClient.com so that you can get the Lunar Client itself. Just hit this download button right here and download the Windows version. I mean, assuming you are running Windows. Once you have the installer downloaded, just give it a double click wherever you installed it to, hit I agree, and it will install the client for you. And there we go. Once it's installed, it'll automatically launch and it will be set to 1.8. So remember, 1.8.9, as specified down here, is the only version that Replay Mod is available for right now, but that could change in the future. But for now, we're going to do 1.8.9. So we're going to launch this. Oh yeah, and it may take a minute to launch because it'll update all of your stuff. And boom, there we go, we've got it launched. So if you haven't already, you're gonna need to log into your Minecraft account. There we go, now we're all signed in. So to activate the replay mod, you're gonna wanna go down here to the Lunar Settings, and then hit Settings. And from here, you're going to be able to enable or disable the replay mod. By default, it is disabled, but in that case, just hit that button again and it'll enable it. And if you hit the gears on the side here, you can switch up some of your replay mod settings. So for example, one of the things that's usually on when you start, I've already altered some things, so it's not for me, but auto start recording, really annoying, so basically it'll start recording as soon as you join into the world. You don't want that, tick that off, and adjust these settings accordingly. All right, now that you got the Lunar Client installed, you're gonna need to take care of FFmpeg now, because this is a very important step in the process to convert the weird replay mod file type to an MP4 file. So you're gonna head to FFmpeg's website, which I will have linked in the description here, and you're gonna hit download. That'll bring you to this page right here. So you're gonna wanna hit the Windows distributions and you can download from the first link here. Once you're on this page, just scroll down until you hit the releases section and then go to the mirror because you don't really want a 7-zip file unless you have something like WinZip or 7-zip to actually access this file type. So I'm just gonna send you to the mirror which will bring you to this guy right here. So from this site, you can download just a pure zip file, which is accessible through any version of Windows. So go ahead and download the essentials build. Once you have that file downloaded, just go ahead and open up the zip file and you're gonna wanna extract this file right here to your C drive under program files 86. So we're just going to extract it here. Perfect, and once you have it extracted to your program files 86, you're gonna want to rename this folder to just FFmpeg, otherwise you're gonna run into issues later. Now to apply FFmpeg to your replay files, you're going to want to just jump into a world, start a recording, run around for a little bit, and just end the recording. I promise this will make sense in a minute. So go to your replay viewer and open up your recording that you just made, and now just place some random key points and times here and go to render it. So once you're in the rendering screen, you're gonna wanna scroll down here until you see this command line here. So this is where we're gonna want to go into our program files, open up that FFmpeg folder that you just made, go into the bin, and you're gonna want to right click this FFmpeg exe, go to properties, and you want to copy this path right here, so the location of your FFmpeg, and you're gonna to want to paste that in the command line here, and then add slash FFmpeg dot exe. Once you have that added, you're just gonna to wanna to hit render, and all of your stuff is now set up. And I know a lot of people have issues with downloading FFmpeg, so if you're one of those people, then head to the video in the top right hand corner. I went more in depth on how to download FFmpeg in that video, so hopefully that'll help you out a little more. Alright, now that you know how to get the replay mod working in the Lunar Client, I'm going to give you a very basic tutorial. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial, then make sure to check out the link in the top right hand corner where I go further in depth on how to use this mod. 
So first things first, how do you get your cursor to show up? Just press T or whatever your chat button is and you'll be able to go around and click things. Now up here we have two different bars. This one right here on the top is the timeline of your entire video. So you can click around here to go to different points in your replay. The one below that is the timeline for your replay itself. So if I only wanted to go from here to say here, then I could place different markers along this timeline to mark how long I want my replay to be. That'll make more sense in a sec once I show you a few other buttons. So up here we have the speed dial. So if I were to play right now, you can see it going at regular speed. But if I were to amp it up to say three times speed, then it'll start going faster. So that's how you adjust the speed of your replay. And now these buttons right here are your two most important ones. Let's jump back to the beginning of the replay for a second here. So this one right here is your keyframe. So if you place that down, that's just where your camera is going to be at that moment in your replay. So if you right click on one of your keyframes, you'll jump to that keyframe. Now the one beside that is your time keyframe. So that's going to mark where on your timeline this keyframe occurs. So for us, this is going to occur at 00, zero if we place it right here. So let's just jump to another point here. Let's say over here. We can jump to 10 seconds in. That's how long we want our replay to be. Let's drop another keyframe. And we'll just play this all the way till I lose. By the way, I lose a lot in Hypixel because I don't know how to play the game. So we're going to go to there. So from 0 seconds all the way to 16 seconds is going to be 10 second replay. So it's going to go, go a little bit faster than it does in the actual video. And if we want to see the replay that we have here now, we can see the line going from one camera point to the next. That's the path that our camera is going to travel. If we go to the beginning here and we hit the play button. Then if you like this replay that you've made, just hit the save button and you can choose where to save it to, what you want the name to be. And also if we roll down here, we can get rid of the render name tags. That way you don't have this funky business going on above our heads the entire time. And you can just see the two people fighting. But I think that's all we're going to go over in this video. If I missed anything, then make sure to leave a comment below and I'll try and get to all of your questions. Also, if you want to learn more about how to use the replay mod, make sure to check out that video I linked before because I go more in depth on how to use the replay mod in general. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video and got something from it. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!